Where do I go to see you before the Come game? Come on, man. How long have you been doing this? Well, you're not, down on, you're not down on the field anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? Where do you come up with this stuff? <laughs> I, mean, I, was, all right, well, I mean, I am locked into a very specific schedule. All right, well, game, so, and game, I think you know what it is for a noon kickoff. All right. I mean, I don't mean to step on you right now, but... That's all right. I mean, first all right. of all, yeah. I'm on the field at 10 o'clock. Okay. I interview Lovey, I go into the coach's office, come out, and boom, at 10.20, I'm getting ready for live television. Right, well, that's what I thought. But when I went to the, to the first game, or, <laughs> or no. game three, as the Bears call it, um, you guys weren't out there. You just missed this. You must have been a late arrival. You weren't. Uh, you weren't efficient. All right, yeah, you're probably late, Steve. All right, so I'll be there you know, early. We only have a window, I'm and gonna... the window is about ten twenty till about eleven fifteen. That's about it. All right, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there on time. You know, come Sunday. watch the television show. Yeah, well, Good normally theater. I do, but I, I you know. I, well, I have to give my uh, Bears I, Confidential in, in the third segment of our game day live show. Tom stands off to the side and stares at me. He goes, Jeff, the pressure's on. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows my script because I give him a copy of our notes. Mm-hmm. And he scribbles his own stuff on there and it keeps us on schedule. And he, 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 he reads my open and close, my stand up open and close to the feature every week. While you're Lance reading Briggs it? Lance was one of the best players in NFL history. <laughs> and he, he goes through the whole, you know, and tries to mimic me and tries to read my lines. And then if I nail it, he goes, Jeff, that was awesome. Uh-huh. Well, at least Not you get that. Not even a hiccup. At least you get that. But that, but the, but for the, the, uh, the first, the Falcons game, you were, you guys were down there? Yes. All right. Well, I just, then I got there late. That's all right. Mm-hmm. It was the first game. We'll cut you some slack. Okay. <laughs> Getting back into the rhythm. All right, I'll get it together. Well, yeah, it'd be good to shake your hand, say hello. Well, no, I, it's it's fun for me to have actual, you know, like have a reason, like, you know. The I, first my, game, they were outside the, stu- the stadium. Oh, that's right. My the, bad, Mary. That, good call. Yeah, Thank, it looked good out there. Waiting for somebody Steve. to save me. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's right. I, I apologize. Do you think profusely. I only mean? <laughs> Well, the, your ratio is like a hundred to one. <laughs> she said uh, Steve, st- I apologize. We accept my apology. Mm-hmm. We weren't in there. You're exactly right. All right thank you. She oh, did say you were still gosh, late, I feel though. terrible now. Pardon me. She did say you were running late, though. Probably. No, I was there on. T- I was there at the right time because I know. I know the time. I know to be there at ten, like ten thirty, to be there, and then you guys do your thing at ten thirty. Yeah, we're in that near the south end. So yeah, no, I know. I look for the light. And I actually, there was a light over there, and I went all the way over there, and I wasn't your light. Hmm. And I was like all sad, because I didn't really have a reason to be down there otherwise.